Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. The IRS can see any wire transfer at once, if it involves the US banking systems or US persons. Banks are also required to report any suspicious activity or transfers by certain individuals and large amounts. Let's help you make your mark. Essentially, any transaction you make exceeding $10,000 requires your bank or credit union to report it to the government within 15 days of receiving it. Not because they're necessarily wary of you, but because large amounts of money changing hands could indicate possible illegal activity. Make your mark, take our lead. Are wire transfers considered cash? Wire transfers are not considered to be cash and no Form 8300 is required to be filed. The Money Services Business MSB, that handles the wire transfer must document these types of transactions by filing a center on amounts over $10,000. Take our lead. How to transfer money from one bank to another. Go to your bank's website to link accounts. Proof of account ownership. Provide the necessary information. Vary the account. Verify the deposits. Start transferring money from one bank to another. Take our lead. Wire transfers aren't necessarily taxable events. You'll have to pay any bank fees related to the wire transfer, but the money may or may not create a tax liability. If you are receiving money as a gift, you won't have to pay any taxes, but you may have to report the gift to the IRS. Take our lead. $15,000. In 2020 and 2021, you can give up to $15,000 to someone in a year and generally not have to deal with the IRS about it. If you give more than $15,000 in cash or assets, for example, stocks, land, a new car, in a year to any one person, you need to file a gift tax return. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.